I think there are teachers who are like professional football players. You know, there's what, a thousand professional football players that are extraordinary. And there's probably 10,000 extraordinary teachers. Let's find those teachers, put them on the internet and have them teaching most of our kids. I'm not saying get rid of the teacher in the classroom, but if there's someone like the guy on, you know, the guy in Khan Academy is like an ex-business guy, he's not even a teacher, but he has an extraordinary ability to explain complex problems. I was on there the other day and watching him uh, do little drawings and explain the Doppler effect. It was better than anything I'd ever had in school. And I was like, gosh, this guy needs to be teaching the Doppler effect for everybody. And that's what should happen is extraordinary teachers should be filmed and broadcast in every class, colleges too. I mean, there's so much information and ability to transmit it that we need to allow for innovation and not just be stuck in the old model. But the old model is because people don't want to allow uh, anybody to get involved with the system. And I'll give you an example. John Stossel did this thing on education a couple years ago. And they had 400 teachers who were inappropriate, touched kids inappropriately or did things with kids that made them that they couldn't teach anymore. They couldn't fire them. They had them in a building in New York City, and they just were there day after day being paid, but nobody could fire them because the contract was 14 pages. The union, could, you couldn't even fire a pedophile. So, I mean, that's a problem. I would pay some teachers more, but I would pay some less, and I would fire some. But you need to allow that kind of uh, structure to occur where the one that's on there with their feet on the desk reading the newspaper and doesn't do squat for the kids needs to be out the but door. But you're a senator, a senator thing of running for president of the United States, and you don't think the federal government should have any role in any of this? I think Not that in terms of providing edu resources or education historically was a state and local, um, a, a state and local subject, and I think that. What we've seen is since we've, uh, we spend about $100 billion in the Department of Education each year, and that's been going on since 1980. I'm not so sure we're better off than we were before. See, the one thing well, that could probably help Well, you propose a budget that would eliminate most of that, right? Well, what I would do is I would have it spent at the state and local level. I wouldn't take it up there at all. I'd leave it, I'd leave it at home. So you'd spend the money. You might still spend it in your state government, but uh, education, even now, 90, 95% of your education dollars are state and local. That hundred billion gets swirled around in a big bureaucracy up there. They send rules down that don't help education. They hinder innovation. I would cut them out of the loop. I don't think you'd notice if the whole department were gone tomorrow. Um, the uh, we might have a disagreement on that. No, we. <laughs> I, I'm sure that we do, and, and I'm not eager. To, I'm not eager to run the experiment either. <laughs>
But if there's someone like the guy on, you know, the guy in Khan Academy is like an ex-business guy, he's not even a teacher, but he has an extraordinary ability to explain complex problems. I was on there the other day and watching him uh, do little drawings and explain the Doppler effect. It was better than anything I'd ever had in school. And I was like, gosh, this guy needs to be teaching the Doppler effect for everybody. And that's what should happen is extraordinary teachers should be filmed and broadcast in every class, colleges too. I mean, there's so much information and ability to transmit it that we need to 